Hello, welcome back to the presentation of Sime software and make it to be easy. Again, I uh, open a network, uh, network modeling. Okay, uh, what I wanna do in this presentation, I wanna do motor starting. So I go to explorer bar, go to detail view, and I have used the filtering. If I remove all the filters and again go to the filtering, group by filtering. So I have four filtering and see all the motors in filtering. So right now, I, I want to see only the motors that the rating is more than a uh, thousand horsepower. So I highlight it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven motors. Okay. Uh, of course, there is the data here are really crowded. So I want to do something. I want to extend and make it more to have more spaces. So right now, when you go here, you can you can see more spaces. Okay, so how nice I extend the network. So right now, I wanna do motor standing for this motor. This motor is MT17, or for example, this motor. This motor MT3. Okay, I wanna do MT3, start MT3. And okay, uh, go to dynamic motor starting. MT3, I wanna MT3 one. Okay, running, I click and off, double click here. You can see there is no motor starting. I click and I start this motor, this motor will have no assistance. Okay, click on Newton Robson. Okay, I must do it in the Newton Robson, I recommend you. And click on run. When you run it, curve, you want to see voltage, current, power factor, torque, electric and mechanical and what also is important time versus a current is important for relay coordination okay and you can see all the uh, torque electrical mechanical and power factor current during the starting the voltage during the starting and okay, let me uh, remove from ducking view this is a nice report you have uh, from the starting time up to the motor complete start. So you have speed, uh, torque, mechanical, electrical, uh, power factor, current, voltage, everything. Okay, let's come back here. So I did the starting of this motor and then right now uh, I want to show you this is for example, let me remove this and this. Okay, it's better. Right now, uh, I want to show you this curve. This is curve of the voltage. It could be uh, I change it unit to the percent or per unit. I put it in percent. Okay, for percentage, and then I click on setting. Go to curve. I want to have markers and lines both, and then. Go to markers, fix, so you have this curve, nice, simple. Okay, for the current, also I want to do the same. Uh, select uh, the curves, lines, and markers. Then when you go to the curve, I select markers, and okay. Uh, uh, I did a mistake, excuse me. Uh, uh, markers, okay, and lines. So I go to curves, markers, and line bolts. It should be. Okay, that's okay. And then uh, for the next, I go the same. Uh, for this motor, what I want to do, I want to start this motor again and use the VFT. So do this motor again, go to, okay, first I have to go to starting assistance, then I use a VFT. Okay, VFT we have uh, 1.2 uh, per, uh, times of the rated current, the starting current of this VFT. Click and then I click a starting motor again. Okay, MT3 starting VFT, Newton Robson, that's it. Okay, right now. I want to compare two curves, so I use previous curve, select previous curve, and then this new curve. 
Again, go to previous curve, second one. Okay, current. Again, go to previous curve for power factor. Again, go to previous curve for torque, electrical, and mechanical. And again, go to previous curve and a time versus current. Okay, then I go to F. Okay. Oh, let me remove. Okay, when you right now when you go to the curve, you can see uh, voltage, uh, starting voltage. When you have VFD and also you have you are in the condition of uh, VFD, uh, start direct online. So you have uh, uh, two curve comparing together. Uh, the first one, this is when you are starting a motor that is direct online, and the second one is when you have VFD. The next one also the same. This is for the current. So you can see that the current of uh, starting. It will be first. Okay, let me go put it in a percent. Okay, okay. So it, it it's around 120 percent, and then comes to 100 percent. Again, this is the power factor, and this is for electrical and mechanical torque, and this is for the uh, current uh, versus uh, time. So you can um, compare, for example, two, three, four starting starting uh, condition and do uh, a lot of starting and compare all this starting together. So it's very simple to do this kind of studies in time. And also, uh, I forget to uh, talk about. Okay, uh, right now when we uh, start this, all this curve will be saved in. This graphical view and this graphical view. When you go to the graphical view, you can see okay, uh, starting. You can see the starting. Uh, all the data are here. But what nice is here, you can you will have access to all the data in a table. Let me do it. So uh, when you uh, okay. When you draw the curve here, if you go to view tabular report, you will have access to all this data for all the curves. See? For all the curves, you have this data during the starting, and you can put all this or export all this data to the Excel. So very simple, you have access to all the parameters of the curve during the starting for the motor. So right now you can see all these parameters available for you during the starting from time of starting zero up to for example in this case that the time of starting is around let me see 8.8 uh, .8 second. Okay. Let me close this. So starting motor starting in time very really simple, and you can use. Uh, one more thing is here that uh, if you go to monitoring motor starting, you can see all the data. You can monitor all the data available here. And when you run a motor starting, for example, for the bus bars, okay. So I can select all the bus bars and see the voltage of all the bus bars. So okay. Right now, I see the voltage of the bar, all the bus bars during the starting, and then when I right click, send it to sign view. Here, you can see voltage of all the bus bars uh, in tabular report. So during the starting, it shows you voltage of all the bus bars. Of course, some bus bars not affected. Uh, this starting will not affect the voltage of this bus bar, but for some bus bar, it affected. Okay. And right now, I can close all the charts, okay? Close all the charts and, uh, of course, close, for example, all the uh, reports, everything uh, can be closed in one shot. Okay, I think it's enough for the motor starting. Thank you for your time. We come back to you for another presentation.
of sign software. Thank you and bye.